My name is Paddy Pimler, fighting our next generation MMA. I've got a record of 7 and 1, I'm 20 years of age and I fight at Featherweight. Uh, well, I started training about 5 years ago now and I just come in as a young kid, I was 15. I had nothing else to do and I just come in one day, paid me month and it just went on from there. I started coming in every day and paying me month every month. 15 months later I was fighting and um, never looked back since really. Done 9 amateur fights and then I've had plenty of pro so got a bit of experience now even though I'm only 20, it's nice. Uh, well, my last fight was on Cage Warriors 72, I think. And um, I fought a guy called Stephen Martin, who was a black belt. Uh, he, he's well known for his grappling, but we come out and uh, he caught me with a big left hook, dropped me, put me on my arse. It was a nice shot, went down. Didn't put me didn't put me out though. Got straight back up, wrestled, come back, ended up finishing with an elbow over the top, which cut him open. Couldn't carry on because of it, the ref stopped it. Uh, well, I can't, I can't wait to fight on FCC, can't wait to get this title fight in. Uh, fighting Kevin Petty from France. Um, he's 7-0, but most of his wins are over bums, so it doesn't really mean much. He's, uh, he's got a decent leg kick, a decent takedown, but it's all he's got, really. He's going to have nothing for me tonight. I wouldn't really say I have strengths. I don't really have strengths. I'd say I'm an all-rounded fighter. I do MMA. I don't do Thai, boxing, wrestling or jiu-jitsu. I do them all. All in one, all day, every day. That's what I do. Looking at a fight going into it, I don't really see them as men or not. And I just see them as someone standing in front of me that I've got to get past. And it doesn't matter how big they are, what they look like, what hair colour they've got or their style they've got, how big their arms are. It just depends you versus them on the day. And I don't think when I get in there on the day with anyone that they can beat me. Don't know. <laughs> Kick back, get me feet up, get the telly on, go out on a Saturday or something, go to a gaff. But then when, I, when I'm training, it's the complete opposite. It's love eating on loads of food and horrible pizzas and crisp and that as well. That makes me day, but when you're dieting, it can't, it's rough. Dieting's the worst bit. Um, well, nutrition coming up to a fight, you just have to drastically cut everything down because day to day, normally me, when I'm not fighting, I'll just eat anything. I'll eat, and I'll eat unlimited amounts. I won't think about how much I'll eat and I'll just eat all day. And like when I'm fighting, I have to drastically cut down and I don't even really eat much veg and salad and stuff when I'm not fighting. I just have to get it in me. And the main things I eat is just chicken and eggs. There's not really much else that I like that I can eat. I just get through it as, as tough as I can. To be honest, my dream in the sport is to be a UFC Hall of Famer, obviously. I wanna don't I wanna be the best in the world. I don't I don't wanna just be in the sport just to be someone that was there. I don't wanna just get in the UFC and not win a title. There's no point in just getting in the UFC and not winning a title. It's the champions are remembered, so that's what I'm in this sport to do. Be one of the best that there ever was. Yeah. I, I don't think I could ask for any better training partners. I, I really don't think I could. I've got Ella Samson, Chris Fishgold, Adam Venzi in, in next gen, and I've still got my other teammates, Dean Garner, Adam Robinson, and Danny Roberts the same. With. I've got, got plenty of professional sparring partners. No one's got better sparring partners than me. Yeah, when we when we train, like we we learn more off each other than anything else. Like we notice so many little things when we go for moves and. That's why we all have a lot of similar finishes. When we do finish fights, we all have a lot of similar finishes because we know that it works, because it works on each other. And we know if it can work on someone in here, then it's going to work on anyone that gets in the cage with us. No, I'm going to be honest, I can't wait to fight on FCC. It's only in uh, Bolton, the Reebok, it's not far from ours. It's only an hour down the road if that. So I'll have a few people coming to watch, watch me lift my first professional title. Can't wait. I hope Kevin brings a few kids down from France because not going to be able to hear his ma screaming if all my mates are dead and he's gotten on. It's going to be our ass on him. My name is Paddy Pimley and if you just want to come down and see me fight on FCC 12 in the Reebok Arena in Bolton, then come down. If you just want to see me take the title back to Liverpool, come down and watch me. See you there.